The whole purpose of the museum is to show physical representations of iconic um, African Americans in history, important right? Events, yeah. And important events, like Drew. I mean, uh, the, uh, some Scott story, Dred Scott, Dred Scott story, and like all these other stories. So the story I hate the most was the one about like the boy. There was like they didn't finish the story. So back to the lynching exhibit. Basically, what they do is they have you walk down the basement, right? Imagine walking down that basement, right? You walk down that basement. Before you turn left, first thing you see is like a, a whole big like const thing from the Constitution, yeah, and it yeah, says, yeah. and it's like basically an apology for the, the twelve the for the twelve thousand lynchings. Yeah. In all actuality, there are probably hundreds of thousands, probably millions yeah. of lynchings in America from that point. And then you get to see pictures of men hanging from trees, After white babies, white little kids looking at him smiling, right. yeah, and then you see you see the you see the black man hanging his. Eyes out like this, and like he's dead. He's probably been there dead for a couple minutes. Yeah, the and then it's just all these other just gruesome photos. They burning them. Little yeah. kids throwing torches mm -hmm, at dead mm -hmm, black mm -hmm, bodies. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's just disgusting. Mm -hmm. And then you walk, and then you keep going, and then you turn, and then you look to your to your left. You see eyeballs, and you see like. Mm -hmm. Dripping skulls, you see, you see like you see decapitated, weird. like a decapitated head is right there. Like he yeah, turned, like, a, like, like a at the angle at the end of the room, it's like a box with the head of a dead person with the eye yeah. out and, uh, and like blood coming out their mouth and stuff. And like then that. it showed, and then, like if you do like if you walk in the room and you do like a three sixty, then it's a man lynching and a woman lynching. The nastiest, and, the nastiest, the nastiest thing in there is they show a woman, pregnant woman. They cut they open her body, the baby, yeah. her stomach, and then they take her baby oh, out. Yeah. So that's one thing. And then they lynch her. And then they take this oh, other guy, this man, they, they castrated him. And then, you know. And then you yeah, can see so it on the floor. Him, so and you, you see, see it on the floor. penis on the floor. And then, he's, and then they lynch him. And then they keep going into other body parts. There's, and then they have the Emmett Till story. And what yes, I was about to say. Hard. And now what I was about to say about the Emmett Till story was that a black man actually snitched on him. Like a black man actually I didn't know was the one girl. who told no, the white. This is the first time I'm hearing this. The, yeah. It was, it was a bar. It was a. It, all right, so you know the you know the story. Right. He, like, he was a white girl. Yeah. And, then, and then the white. And then this white man tells these. Tells all his clan buddies, like, yeah, let's get this nigga. And then, so then they get him. But the only reason why the man in the store knew was oh, because man, some right. black guy who was who was like around the store, he was he heard him until he saw it. The white guy was inside the store attending to his customers. He would not have known unless the black man did not be like. He saw what happened. He go. He went inside and then he told. House and then, syndrome. And then he uh came back out and then he uh, told his friends and then they took care of that. So oh, that was the that was the worst part about that story was that mm. it was another black man who was the reason for Emmett Till's murder. He was like 14, 15 years old. He married that. Um, so that was one of the most disturbing. And then there was another one where they were talking about like in the 90s somebody was lynched like 97 somebody was lynched wow. yeah, yeah. it was really recent it was in Texas too yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, about his, his, crazy stuff his, his name his name was James Bird mm. and they actually had a pickup truck they dragged oh, they, they, dragged dragged his they dragged his body all around in right, the street right, and they right. decapitated his head and everything in the mm. process mm. So like you know you know how they call black people monkeys and stuff yeah. Yeah. you know where that really mm. came from um, Darwin's theory of evolution. <coughs> it was that, but also there was like but this is this is one of like the most heartbreaking stories that like I've ever heard. But these like white people went to Africa, and there was an African little boy, and they oh. captured the African little boy and took him back to the United States and put him in a zoo exhibit right. as with monkeys. Monkey. He was a prince, really. with monkey. He was a prince too. He was an African Oh, prince. no, hold up. Yeah. I think I know that. Boy. And was... they brought him back to America and put him in a cage with monkeys. Right. So your man was, so he was literally a zoo exhibit, you feel me? And, and there was, was because he was black. And at that time, like, there was not a lot of black people in America, let alone less African people. So... Mm -hmm. It was like an example, like, ooh, look, there's a black person. And then they were with the monkeys. Yeah. So, of course, they're like, well, then he must be a, a monkey. monkey. That's what the public's going to think. Would and you think if he was like, white, 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 black? 
It must be and different. Then, and then, and then he must, he must, so he must be different. And so, if, if all you know is white, and first of all, back then they didn't even really see race until <coughs> until Darwin came out. Like the the whole idea of race really wasn't. They just thought it was defined. like fine. They, they were just like these people are brown. Like, the same people. They like, say, like like with the white people. Hold, came hold on, to, uh, let me stop you all there. I think you're all mixing up two things here now. Mm-hmm. Darwin's theory of evolution was related to human beings. Yeah. It wasn't to black people and black people being monkeys. The story that you That's how people interpret it though. So huh? That's how some people interpret it. Because though. they think the black people were the first people like for some right. reason some people back then thought that white people had nothing to do with black people and didn't realize that like they were actually Yarkies. black people and until they moved to the Arctic and their skin got white. Yeah. They, well they came from us. I know that's what I'm saying. Now, yeah, because, like, yeah, and, yeah, like when we went to like when I went to Oracle, um, the priest of my church Monsignor. is one of the professors. My son, his name is Monsignor. He's one of the um, people that have one of his like teachings at Oracle. And Oracle, it's like the evo- he ca- is, is it the evolution of the world? It's, it's African Genesis. Genesis. It's African Genesis. And in the um, story, well, not a story, but in the, priest, in the uh, workshop, he tells talks about how. Black people just started off as black people, and like all the things that, like, you take for granted that the skills that you have have been built into your genetics through evolution of like the black man and things like that. Yeah. And then how when black people, when we first had Pangea, when we were all on one continent, and like some black people moved out northern right. in the north, and, and right. then we started spreading apart. They didn't need the black things they had. Then they didn't need bigger nostrils to like bring in air and they didn't need like yeah the nostrils went in and then they needed like white skin to reflect the sun and not to like absorb the sun to reflect the sun like to reflect the cold Mm -hmm. and how the evolution just kept on going until they became same thing with the cell that's not that's not necessarily how to um how it happened genetically though because like like they got the um I mean, before it was like it was, it was, it was, it was, it was also with your pigments and your skin. Well, yeah, 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 it was like, like it, was no, like, it, no, it wasn't, what it wasn't like what he's saying is correct because yeah. what happened is you see your body, the, the human being, animals in general, yes. adapt, adapt to the environment. That's exactly right. Mm. They adapt. And humans and over, and this t- t- doesn't take they, place instantaneously. Like, right. yeah, it right. takes place like over centuries, over a period of time. Yes. So your parts of your anatomy start evolving and changing to so adapt to the yes. environment. Yes. Mm. Right. Yes. That's why in the south, like you know how in the north you said their skin because they become more whiter and whiter. And then those and then when they would go to the south, the nostrils were getting like bigger. Yeah, because yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So you you find that on all continents. No, like more yeah. southern people are like a lot of things that but like one of the more, close, more, I should say, let me more, correct. Closer that. To the, the closer to the yeah, equator, right. the darker people are. That's right. So they, right. your body produces more melanin. That's right. And mm. the wider the nostrils again for breathing purposes. That's why. And you know, mm-hmm. even amounts of hair that people produce changes right. based on yeah. right. where they are. The texture of hair changes based right. on so the I mean, quite naturally think about it. Short Tightly curled hair makes sense when you're traveling through bushes and right. jungles. And things yeah. might jungles, be falling on your right. head. You know, because otherwise you get tangled attention. up mm-hmm. and yeah. you have a hard time getting through that. Whereas yeah. in, in a different climate, you need more oil for, for mm-hmm. insulation. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Okay, so therefore you're going to have longer oiler scalp and hair mm-hmm. and more hair because you need it for insulation to keep your body as warm as possible. Right. Because because white people are hairy. That's like that's one what of I the, just said. Like one of the right, main right, things right. that like that's he, what I just said. Like yeah. one, of the, <laughs> one, of the, one of the things that like um, my peers are trying to get into is like to be proud of like the reason why you're black because like right. you know how people would be like oh if you're black you have nappy hair and nappy hair is bad and he was like look at my things. Day, <laughs> every day of your life. Not, <laughs> not well, bad. well, let's talk about that, and and that's that's a very very good point. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Jamal experienced yeah. that when he was younger. Mm-hmm. He looked at kids like Eric and them whose hair was different. You know, the darker, shinier hair. I mean, Eric is evolving more as an Afrocentric person now. But <laughs> I mean, and, not, and not only Eric, I'm talking about other kids who looked like that. In his class, yeah. and he, he, that's what he wanted to be. No, right? I said, "Why is their hair like that?" No, I remember you wanted to be like that. No, I still remember that. I remember because you that. didn't know any better. Because you didn't know any right, better, right. and you thought that that's the way. I'm, I'm your father. I'm, I'm going to tell it like it is. I remember that. <laughs> no, 
And I, I used to try to talk to you about all these things a lot. You couldn't see it then. Now you're yes. growing older. Yes. It's coming back to you. Yes. Right. yes. And you know, it's making more sense now. That's why this mm. this is and these are your peers. Mm -hmm. That what they're saying is more impactful than anything I have to mm -hmm. see because peer pressure mm -hmm. is one of the most impactful pressure on any youth. That's why lots of the stuff that I used to tell you when you were a kid coming up and you know, you didn't like to hear it. What made it good for me and, you know, sort of um, elevated me in spirit was when Eric would turn around, he would tell me, Dad, Eric said this. I said, did you hear this before? <laughs> yes, where? From you. All right. <laughs> Am I lying? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Eric said, yes. <laughs> yes, I've been confirmed <laughs> and affirmed. No. Like meeting Eric, like meeting like, Eric no. did change a lot of my views. Yeah. But there are some things that, like Eric knows, we had a lot of fights about. Mm. <laughs> there were some ghetto <laughs> days. Right? We were talking about ghetto days. To me, no, no, good, good, good old days. I was like, this. we ever battle about religion. Do this. Do this. Remember these words right here. Remember these words right here. Well, I mean, I didn't mean Sorry. Remember this phrase. Is that. Well, let me ask you a question. What is the best way to sharpen iron? Well, iron. That's right. You so your, your, your conversation with one another should never be seen as a battle. Should just be an but, elevation. But, but the, uh, a sharpening. Wait, we said, you said that before. We said, you said that before. Because you said you, you, know, no, you, say you did. Because we, we were um, arguing one time about Religion or right, something right, about saying, black people. It was something, and then you said that. <laughs> so you say you say the best way to sharpen iron, sharpen iron is with iron. With iron, yeah. So basically, we just keep need to keep. In other words, you got instead of seeing when, yourself as a, 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 it's not as a battleground or as an argument. I'm trying to. Just add it on. When you're when yeah, you're debating yeah. things like that, you you're exchanging your views, and you can yeah. learn more. You could absorb what yeah. they're saying, and then the whole so it's basically like an exchange. Learning, of, yeah, it could be like an exchange of knowledge. You could, and then later you might think of it like, oh, I never thought of it this way. Maybe we're we're both right in a way. Maybe what we're both oh. saying is true, and we never thought of it. Like that was like that. when um, I would, that's I, a good point. I think um. I, yeah, I think I probably remember his meeting him because he was so crazy. But um, when I went to Oracle, there was this professor named TQ. Who is it? QT. 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 QT is the craziest brother. <laughs> yes, he, he, his hair is stuff. He is crazy, but he, he is like brilliant. Cool he is like on crack. <laughs> <laughs> he really does, but he's brilliant. Like I'm not he, used, he used he used an egg carton to describe a sentence. Huh? How exactly. Do like, how do you do that? He's the A, wait, oh, like, he's the a card to describe, describe a, sentence. a sentence. What did he say? He was saying that a yeah. sentence has pieces of words together in it that make one meaning, right? Yeah. Egg cartons have eggs in it, but it's an egg carton. So, exactly. That's tight. Mm -hmm. And then another so thing, like, he was just like, oh, that was so brilliant. But like, he's like, that's crazy. Well, I mean, that's, that's one of the um, things he's talking about. He was like, because you need people's minds to like help you sharpen your mind because you know, he said, like, I know the first thing everybody's going to be like, okay, no, that's a lot. But like, he's saying like, as of you are now, you know everything. You know every single thing there is to know. That's, That's what he said to us. But he said, no, 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 but no, you don't know what the name to every single thing it is. Early in the morning. Okay. Yes. And he was like, you know it is. he was like, <laughs> no. Because he was like, really he was like, this. he was like, what's the, what is, what is this continued. called? And we were like, a finger. And he was like, yes, but it can be, but what else is it called? And then, like, we went through like, like, we kept on saying like bones and stuff like that. And then he brought up this like, Ten letter word to describe a finger. That's what you told me about that. You, uh, well, phalange. And you did tell me. No, it was it was it was a phalange. It was something else. And then like we were like he was like, I know about that, but you still knew what it was, right. so it didn't matter. Exactly. And it's like you yeah. know, 
So he was like saying, you know everything, but you just don't know what the name of it is. And as you like go higher in knowledge, you will figure out what the name of it is. So don't That's be right. discouraged when you don't know what something is because you know That's what it is. You just don't know what the name of it is. Or the various names for it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like that. Or like the gist of it. So that was so awesome. But, you know. Well, I don't, I, I don't think it's, I guess it's kind of like that, but I, I do believe that like, <coughs> we're, we're, I guess this ties into knowing things. Uh, this is like my reason for saying this, but I do believe we were born on this earth before because like, it just seems right, like certain things you know it's right and you know that this is supposed to be how it is and you just know this and like you, you I don't think, it's like you, there's things you maybe you don't remember where you learned them from but mm. you know them, you know mm, them like, like deep in your head. Oh yeah, yeah. but you know some and people call it reincarnation. Like yeah, mm -hmm. and you just know it's right, mm -hmm. like I didn't... That might be the God. That's true yeah. too. That's yeah. true. I mean, you don't have to be. You yeah. don't have to have been here before. I mean, but you are of God anyway. Yeah, but, but maybe like, you're guessing God and you tell like, like, Let me let me but, see, let me. There's see. things you know, but you don't know how you know them. Yeah. You just right. know that they are. Like when you like lose that's your memory, just, but you still know your name. Yeah, you but I feel know. like that's your spirit, though. Yeah, well, let me compliment that. Um, and and with that, I also need to say I have to run. I can't stay later than this because I got to get up early at four o'clock in the morning again to go to work. I don't mind. I go I rest, I get up and exercise in the morning and fix breakfast and stuff for Jamal and Yeah. Um <laughs> but what I was about to say is and I could be wrong and I can stand corrected. I don't we don't know it all. Mm. What my feeling is from the little I've learned on the short time here on this earth, I believe that when you die, I think what happens is your spirit or your soul leaves your body. Mm -hmm. and okay. occupies another body that's coming into the world. Mm -hmm. That's okay. what I believe. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong. Be I'm not the authority, mm -hmm. but I think that that's what happens. Mm -hmm. And that's thus the reason for, you know, that spirit feeling, I've been here before. Yeah. So, well, I, I did this before. And you just so, know. Like, you know, like, somebody, you see them, like, you've like, you never seen somebody before, but you know. Yeah, so, and then, like, there's been. also things like, uh, oh, like, it feels like you felt it before, or you've heard it before, but you've mm -hmm. never, right. you know you've no, never heard it before. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's why, like, that's why, like, I'm oh, sorry. Wait, no, you go. Yeah. Yeah. When, like, talk. when I feel like, I mean, there were, like, a lot of times, like during the you summer, didn't your dad. He had his hands oh, on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just trying. I, I, I know. I, I just, you know, I think we have to. We do have to bring some of this down to a close because you know, you know we got other activities. We got to go to Baltimore tonight. You all going to Baltimore? I do. My tonight? license is in Baltimore yeah. at the hospital. <laughs> yeah, because so you got to go to Baltimore, and wow, I got to take these boys home. But I just want to say something that, you know. A lot has been said, and I know you're going to, you can't digest it all, but you can still continue to process it. But knowledge is really seeking the unknown. Mm -hmm. And then when you find yourself at that point of the unknown, that's probably the highest point of your learning because you have sought through and you filter through all this information. And this is really a great experience for you all. Uh, yeah, because really, when you seek the unknown, and you get to the point where there is no more answers for the unknown, you, have you, have to think for that, huh? you have to think for yourself. You have to think for yourself, and, but you get what? You use the resources, and that's one of the things I hope that you will learn to do, is use the resources that are around you mm. to solve some of those problems or some of those issues that you seek to know. What do you do when you have no more okay, resources? So, you know, and that, 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 that resource more, is, is a powerful like, tool. You have unlimited resources. Like, like, really like the way huh? this is like Trust what I'm saying is... We're bringing it to a close. So I can actually finish what he's saying now. That when you use your resources, you know, you're going to find it when you go, when you sit, the more you start writing papers, they're going to tell you what? Concise. Research. Research. Uh -huh. And mm -hmm. they're going to say, well, what is your resource? My papers are Yeah. Okay. Source, right? What is your resource for your, for your thing, 
for your 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 your, your thesis sentence in your paper. And they're going to say, well, how do you substantiate that? That's exactly right. Because you're not the expert. And so you have to show them that you are an expert. And you show them you're an expert because you use your resources. So that's the what you do for a paper. But I'm talking about real life situations. That you all are going to have to use these resources. Conversations like this, other gatherings we've had before, to make you a better person. Because you are still making the transition from boys to men. Because you're still making that transition. You're not there yet. You're not there yet. On your way. But there's a transition between a boy to manhood. You have to remember that. And the way you make that transition is pulling on those resources and remembering what conversations you've had to seek knowledge and, 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 and listen to other people and then, you know, continue to form your mind and shape your mind. So, uh, excellent conversation. Mm -hmm. Everyone participated. Y'all did wonderful, you know. Uh, I'm just excited about just hearing you all. And it's not going to be the last time we get together, you know that, right? This should be continued because it's what I that. walked into here tonight is deep. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm No, I, this is no joke. A drum circle mm -hmm. on Kwanzaa. Mm -hmm. This is deep. This is deep. Oh. I love it. Wait, um, one second. I mean... Particularly not for me, for my son. Mm -hmm. oh, um, Mr. Franklin, this is my godbrother Allende. Yes. Allende, this is. What is it? Allende? Allende. 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 How you spell it? A Y I N D. I know you think about President Allende, right? Salvador Allende. <laughs> but it's uh, it's it sounds it sounds like it's I Y I N D A Y, but it's A Y I N D. And what does it mean? Does it have a meaning? It means we praised God and He came. Okay. Yeah. We bring it all to a close with, uh, did we do our three Harambe? We can do it again. Right. One, two, three, go. Harambe! 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 You, you know what? That should be you the know voice. Let's put these mean. instruments back. Uh, I know. Isn't it all together? I put some. I put some.